the most annoying thing when starting to learn OpenGL in C++ is configuring all the libraries. I just want to start typing OpenGL. Why do I have to like set 100 features to do flags that I don't even understand? And I have to do this for every library that I need. Do you want to know what is the easiest way to configure your OpenGL libraries? If so, smash like, subscribe, which is my Steam game, and give me all your credit card number. Oh, okay, just kidding, don't do the last one. The easiest way to configure OpenGL is to have someone else do it for you. And that person happens to be me in this case. I have for you not one, but two configurations that you can just steal from this video description and use. Before you click off this video, however, let me explain you how they work. This video has just a few minutes, and it will save you a lot of time in the future. The first configuration is a very simple setup that has all the basic stuff you need. I also added a shader loading file, so you can more easily test things and also did set up the OpenGL error reporting, so you can automatically get error reports when you do something stupid without doing anything else. The second configuration, however, is more like a framework. I already configured the input and other stuff that you might need. I also have uh, some of my own libraries here that are specifically created for game development, so I will have a more in-depth video on it soon but you will find some more info on how to use it in my GitHub repo. Both configurations use CMake, but don't worry, I'll explain you all you need to know in a few seconds, but I also have a CMake video if you want to learn more. To open the project, just clone it and right-click Open with Visual Studio and you are done. You can also do this. To regenerate the project, just go into the CMake file and click Ctrl S to save the file. Ctrl F5 to open the project and you are done. If you ever get weird bugs, just delete this out folder and save the CMake file again. This will allow you to make a clean build. Adding other libraries is easy. You might want to add a simp at some point. Download it, drop it into this folder, add this here and here and you are done. The last thing is that you have to use this macro called resources path to access files in the resources folder. Whenever you want to send the, the project to another person, you have to comment this line, uncomment the other one, and send the .exe file along with the resources folder. So this is about it. Download any of the two setups that you want, and check out my CMake tutorial if you want to learn more. I also have an OpenGL video where I explain how to start learning OpenGL. So if you found this video valuable, don't forget to like it and share it. See you!